This is chapter 4-1. We're investigating congruent figures. So we're going to talk about congruent polygons, corresponding parts, and the third angle theorem. If we have two polygons that are congruent, so in this case it's A, B, G, E is congruent to C, D, H, F, um, then all of the corresponding parts are congruent. They are all equal in measure. So let me try to quick scribble this out. Um, or tell you what, I'll pause and I'll just insert it as, as nice type. Turns out I already did it. If these two figures, polygons, are congruent to each other, then the corresponding parts are congruent. So A, angle A, has to be congruent to angle E. Angle B is congruent to angle D. Angle G is congruent to angle H. And E is congruent to angle F and also the corresponding sides are congruent. AB is congruent to CD, BG is congruent to DH, and GE is congruent to HF, and um, AE is congruent to CF. And if you'll notice, um, not only did I write all that out, but you'll notice that all the letters correspond down here. I'll put a little star. A matches up with C, first first letters, and let's see, B matches up with D, say B, and then D, C, and likewise G matches up with H, and finally E and F match up. And that allows you to just quickly just look at the, the, the notation here, and you can say immediately that segment AE has to be congruent to segment CF and likewise segment BG is congruent to DH and so on. So order is super important. You have to put these letters in the right order or everything corresponds to each other. Let's see what we got in the next page. Okay, this is just triangles. So if you have two congruent triangles then that means not only the sides, the corresponding sides are congruent, but also the corresponding angles as well. So I listed them all here. So if you'll notice in this final statement that triangle ABC is congruent to DEF, you'll see that the angle A is congruent to angle D. Look, same notation, three green marks, three green marks. B, one red mark. B matches up with letter E, one red mark, and so on. Um, and you'll notice AB is congruent to DE. BC is congruent to EF. All the notation matches. Let's see what we got in the next page. Okay. Um, if these two polygons are congruent, then AB is congruent to EF. So AB is 8, EF is Z. So that means right off the bat, Z has got to be 8. Let's keep on going. BC is 12, middle, middle two letters. So that means it corresponds to FG, FG. So then you're going to have 12 is equal to 2Y minus 4. So let's see, add 4 to both sides, you get 16 is equal to 2y. y is going to be 8. Okay, let's see what we got next. CD, last two letters is 6, that's GH. GH is x minus 3. So that means 8 is equal to x minus 3. So we add 3 to both sides, so 11 is x. Okay, let's see what's left. We have this side, W. So, AD is 15, and AD corresponds to EH. So that means 15 is equal to the value there is 3W, so W must be 5. So let's try to highlight all our answers. There's W, there's X, there's Y, and there's C. Okay, now we have the third angle theorem. This is pretty basic. Um, if these two angles, you know, we have two triangles. 
if this angle is congruent to that angle, this angle is congruent to that angle, then the third angles, angle C and angle F, have to be congruent to each other. Let's throw some numbers in there to make it make sense. So look, if we have this is 30 and this is 40, well, we know that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle have to add up to 180. So if this is 30 and this is 40, that's 70. This missing angle is 110. So if this angle here is 30 and that's 40, well then, I guess this third angle has to be 110. Well, that's the third angle theorem. Two congruent angles, two congruent angles, well then the third angles have to be congruent to each other. Now, this statement here is a little not so great notation. These, these two triangles are congruent. I, I set it up that way when I drew the picture. But for ABC to be congruent to DEF, we're going to need a side to be congruent. So I'm just going to quickly write that AB is congruent to DE, but we'll talk about that later. But let me, let me go back a little bit. In this image here, I grabbed this off the textbook, you'll notice this small triangle and this triangle here is bigger. Later on, we're going to learn that if you have angle, 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 and of course we now know the third angles have to be congruent as well. These triangles are similar. They are not necessarily the same size because we only know about their angles. We don't know anything about how long any of the sides are. So let's just focus on that, that you know what these two angles are, you know what those two angles are, then consequently the third angles have to be congruent to each other. Okay, what's next? Let's see, we're supposed to summary. This is it? Yeah. So we're going to summarize that congruent figures have congruent corresponding parts, and we have to be careful in the order of our notation, and you know that order does matter. Alright, let's take a look at what's coming up next. So I've got this figure here. Well, we got vertical angles. If this is 56.6, well then this missing angle is 56.6. If this angle here is 29.9, then so is this one right here. I'm going to put a little mark here. One mark, one mark. That's 29.9. Well, if you take the 56.6 and the 29.9, add them together, We got 86.5. So if you take 86.5 and subtract it from 180, because all these interior angles of a triangle have to add up to 180, the missing angle right here, that angle right here and that angle right here, has to be this value right here, that third angle. And they have to be congruent, because look, these two angles are congruent to each other. And I stated in the beginning, I'm sorry I didn't say it out loud, that this triangle is congruent to this triangle, so therefore this angle is 29.9, so is this one. And likewise, I labeled the sides, look, 10 and 6 and 12. Well, that means if these two triangles are congruent, then this is 6, and this is 10, and this is 12, which I wrote down here. <sighs> Boy, that was a short lesson. So thank you for watching. Chapter 4-1 about congruent figures.